This is my home, Barbados, the place where I was born and raised. Growing up was peaceful, and as on any island, the sea was our constant companion. It was like the family member you could always rely on to feed you when you were hungry, or a friend to keep your company when in need. There were endless baths at Browns Beach and Bathsheba picnics that seemed to happen every other Sunday. If this island made us, the ocean and beach around it sustained us. Growing up, my grandmother told me stories of how the beach was so broad that you could play a good game of cricket on the sand. Now, there are only a handful of beaches where you can attempt a proper game of cricket. Gran keeps saying that things are much different now, and everything keeps changing faster than any of us can imagine. We think of climate change as a far-fetched concept that has nothing to do with us. It's the melting ice in the North Pole, or the disappearing streets of Venice, but honestly, it is right where we live, and it significantly impacts our coasts. Because of climate change, we in Barbados can expect to experience stronger storms, which are not only a threat should we be in their direct path, but can also cause long-lasting damage to our coastlines due to what is known as the storm surge. The immense waves that develop during a storm as the ocean gets more and more active due to the high winds. More than an expectation, this has become a reality. In 2017, the Caribbean was devastated by the passage of hurricanes Irma and Maria, both Category 5 storms. These storms did not make landfall on our shores, but we did get a battering, which caused extensive damage as the storm surge ate away at the sand and affected seaside properties on our west coast. If this continues, much like the streets of Venice, our island will start to vanish bit by bit. And according to Gran, it already has. That's why the Coastal Zone Management Unit embarked on the Coastal Risk Assessment and Management Program to identify the changes happening along our coastline and to find ways to deal with the problems. To this end, a study to look at wave action around the entire island was done to determine how the waves behave and how they interact with infrastructure, communities and habitats in specific locations. With this information, individuals, businesses and communities across Barbados can begin to work with planning and development agencies such as Town Planning and Coastal Zone Management Unit to allow them to build more disaster resilient properties or properly create coastal defences to withstand the impacts of storm surge. We Barbadians can also help decrease and limit such impacts by building resilient properties, keeping drainage pathways along the coastline clear to prevent flooding, paying attention and adhering to local storm warnings, putting an evacuation plan in place should the storm surge affect your property, properly ensuring your coastal property. In doing this, we ensure the existence of our coastal areas to be used and enjoyed by future generations for years to come. As on any island, the sea was our constant. The island made us, but the ocean and beach sustained us. It is up to each of us to protect them.